okay. You fill out the actual online FAFSA form. But using some tips we have to offer should make the process go even faster. You will want to return to the FAFSA homepage by going to www.fafsa.ed.gov. Then on the homepage, click the step to filling out a FAFSA in either English or Spanish. Next, select the correct aid year, for example, 2009-2010, for fall 2009, spring 2010, and summer 2010 from the drop-down menu. Then click the Next button. You will then indicate if you want to sign using your PIN or your parents' PIN and your PIN. If not, you will need to have a printer available to print out a signature page you will sign and mail to an address on that page. Click the Next button once you've made the selection. On the next screen, enter your Social Security number, name, date of birth, and your PIN. Create a password that you will remember in case you do not complete the entire FAFSA form and want to come back later. At this point, you can click the Next button and proceed to actually fill out the online form. And because you've already performed the hard work by filling out the worksheet, this part of the process should go smoothly for you. Just remember to enter all of your data from the worksheet, and you can save the information as you move through the online process. Do not leave the question, will you have a high school diploma or equivalent before you enroll, blank, or the processing of your FAFSA will be delayed. Be sure, though, to go to the very end in order to submit your application. You'll click the Submit My FAFSA Now button to actually submit the application. Once you submit the online form, you'll receive a confirmation number. Print the number if you have a printer. If you don't, just write the number down and keep it in a safe place. And that's it! We're sure you'll do well when you actually get online to fill out the form, but we still have a little more information you'll want to have concerning what happens after you have submitted the online form. So click the Step 5 button and we'll give you that last bit of important information.